Hi everyone, this is Miss Amy here. We're going to do another fun art project together. So uh, let's show you first what we're gonna create. We're gonna do a negative space cow, meaning we're going to fill in all the white areas of the cow instead of filling in all the black areas. So um, here's one I did on white paper where you fill in all the dark areas. We're gonna do the opposite of that today. We're gonna draw on black paper and just fill in all the white areas of our cow. So we're drawing it a little bit different today, but it'll be a lot of fun. So the supplies you'll need for this class uh, is one piece of black construction paper, a pencil and an eraser, and a white colored pencil, and maybe a little pencil sharpener because you may need to sharpen your colored pencil a couple times. So that is all we need to get started with this project. So why don't we go ahead and get our black construction paper um, and put it in portrait direction because we're gonna put the cow to fit this way on our paper. Um, you will notice his ears are a little big, they go off the side, but I think that's kind of cool that I like to make, I like to draw big. So I like to have my cow nice and big on my paper. So for drawing, we are going to start with our pencils because we will ma be making some lines that we'll need to erase. So what we want to do is kind of in the middle of our, so near the top, we're going to just draw a big diamond shape or like the shape of a kite. So we're going to start up here. I'm just going to make a little dot so I know where to start. And then I'm just going to make a, a big kite on my paper. So it's a little bit longer at the bottom and a little bit shorter at the top. Not quite to my dot, but close there. Um, you can erase any line that you don't like. All right, so once you have your kite shape at the bottom of the kite, we're gonna do a square with rounded corners or kind of like a rectangle uh, square. So a little bit more than a square. So I'm going to start right here in the middle and just draw one with rounded corners right across my kite. All right, now we're going to fine tune this into our cow. So um, we're going to start at the top and just kind of round that off. We don't want a pointy head quite that much. So we're going to round that off and then we're going to erase that pencil line at the top. And I recommend not pushing really hard when you're drawing. Don't push super hard on your pencil because it'll be harder to erase. So just a lighter drawing and it'll be way easier to erase your lines. Okay, so we rounded the head and these two points are where the eyes are. So we're actually gonna, so you come off the end of that triangle, we're actually gonna make a little eyelash there. So I'm just gonna make a little shape that looks like that, kind of like a little curved triangle right off the end of that. And the same thing over here. And that's going to be just kind of like my eyelash over my cow's eye. And then um, when that shape, I'm actually going to curve it in. So it kind of looks like a rainbow there. See how I'm making that look like a rainbow shape? That's going to give us a nice place to make our little eyes there. So underneath there, I'm just going to go ahead and make a curve line right inside there, just like that, like a, so just outside of that um, kite line, make that curve line. Those are gonna be my friendly cow eyes. And then I'm gonna erase everything inside those eyes and everything inside those eyelashes above the eyes. All right, so then we're gonna come down, we're gonna follow this line but we're gonna kind of make it a little more round. So I'm gonna round it out a little bit and then come in just to give it more of a face look for the cow. Okay, and then we're gonna change the shape just a little bit. This gave us a great guideline, but we're gonna, we're gonna kind of shape it a little bit. So we're gonna come down inside that square shape and I'm just gonna kind of round it a little bit more. I'm gonna come down to the bottom though and leave the bottom and just kind of round it inside there. And then I can erase all those extra lines. I don't need those anymore. So anything inside here. There we go. And then we can look at it and see if we need to make any adjustments. So 
I might adjust this line just a little bit and make adjustment here. So it's kind of even on both sides and then erase any lines that I have there. That's what I love about drawing with pencils. You can make changes easily. Oh, now that's looking more like a cow. All right, and then I'm gonna make the, like the neck and the, like we're facing the cow from the front. So we're just gonna see kind of the shoulders um, a little bit there. So I'm gonna just start under the, close under the eye and just make a curved line that comes down off the bottom of my paper. Same thing over here. We really don't see the whole cow because um, the, these are just like his shoulders. So we won't see the rest of the cow. All right, and then I'm gonna kind of round that head just a little bit more. Great, and then I'm gonna add some ears. So off from this rounded, I'm just gonna come down a little bit and then make a curve line. It curves down and then off the side of my paper. Same thing on the other side, kind of curves down a little bit and then up off the side of my paper. And then the bottom of the ear is just gonna come from the side. I'm just gonna go right up to the side of the head and the same thing on the other side. There we go. And then um, I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna see that top line here. I'm just gonna follow that, curve it down like that. Same thing over here, follow that line and just curve it down. All right, now I wanna make some, the nostrils on my cow's nose. So actually it's like the, the number six. So I'm gonna start here and make a number six, but not connect it, leave it open. And then here I'm gonna make a backwards one, but leave it open just like that. And then I can close it a little bit and that looks like a cow's nostril. And then the mouth is just gonna be kind of a little curvy line across and then that'll be the chin down here okay then for our eye we're just gonna make a little curve just so this little here this little corner here will be like the white of the eye and then we can draw a little um circle here for a highlight and then that's gonna make our cow's eyes look more realistic now this is gonna this is a um, Holstein cow, which has black and white, is white with black spots. So I'm going to create that right now. So I'm going to create just some curved lines on the nose and goes up here to the top of the head. And that's going to kind of represent some white and there'll be the black spots around the eyes. You can adjust it and make it your own. You could add a couple extra little white uh, lines somewhere. Um, I like this how it looks, so I'm going to keep it like that. And then I'm going to draw like a spot here. It'll be black and then maybe one over here on this side. And of course you can fine tune that, make it however you would like. And then I always think a cow looks cute with a little hair on top of their head. So I just make some lines here, curve them up and then right onto the top of the head, kind of erase that top line and then the hair will just kind of We'll add some more lines later, but that's all it's going to look like there. And that's going to be such a cute cow. Adjust this eye a little bit. So right now would be a good time to adjust any of your lines. Let's take a look at your cow and just make any adjustments that you need to make. All right. So now we're going to use, put our pencil and eraser aside. Now we're going to use our white colored pencil. So first of all, we want to trace all our pencil lines with the white just so our cow will stand out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And just carefully, because normally when we trace with a Sharpie, we can erase our pencil lines, but when we trace with a colored pencil, we gotta be a little more careful because if we erase the pencil lines, we might erase some of the white too. So we just trace a little more carefully here. And I'm pressing down a little bit so I get a nice white line that I can see really well.
cute cow. Fill that in and hide that pencil line. The other ear. Okay, and then our hair. Now I'm going to add a few more hair lines because I can see them better now. My pencil was just giving me some guidelines, so I'm going to just fill that in with that pencil and it looks so cute. All right, so now what we're, what we're going to do is start filling in the cow, but we're going to fill in the white spaces and not the black spaces. So this is a black spot. I'm going to leave that be the black paper that shows through. So I'm going to start with my eye. So my eye, my white little highlights going to be white. So I'm going to color that in and then the corners of the eye is going to be white. So you can color that and I'm using a firm pressure so that I get a nice white on that. Um, I'm just going to leave it like that um, because we the eye is dark. The eye itself is the dark. So then on the nose, um, I am going to leave my nostrils dark and then color white around it. And I'm using just a medium pressure just to get a nice solid white without pushing too hard. Um, and then, so on the face, I'm going to add a couple little lines here just to give it a little like where the bone may be on the underneath. So because that would be black, I'm just going to um, make two little lines here that I'm not going to color in. I'm going to color around those. So leave like a little dark area there and color all around that. So if you see on this cow here, I drew them with the black marker. So on this cow, we have to draw around them and then draw that, draw that shape in there and then color around it. So we're doing the opposite. A nice, even color here. I'm going to leave that lower lip darker because um, it's kind of in the shadow. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that darker right now. Go ahead and color around these. So now you can see those little black lines to kind of give the nose some definition there like with a little bone in their face. All right. Go ahead and color the rest of this. Nice, even pressure. I'm going to have to sharpen my pencil here. It's wearing down. Now I'm just coloring in the hair. I'm not going to color all that hair because I want it to be black and white, showing the dark areas and the lighter areas. So I'm not, I'm not going to color in that hair. I'm just going to leave the lines there. And I need to sharpen my pencil right here. There we go. There. Get it nice and even, as even as I can. All right. And then on the ears, I'm going to, it's a little bit lighter at the top because the light is shining down. So I'm just going to color those a little bit in with my light light. I'm not coloring as hard as I did. Like I'm making this, the face a little darker white uh, because it's closer to me and it's not, there's no shadow on it. This will be a, just a little bit lighter. And then the top of the ears can be a little bit darker because the light is hitting it. Now, the inside of the ears are usually dark, but you will see some lighter areas. So what I do is just draw some lines to represent some hair inside the cow's ear and leave the middle kind of dark with that black paper showing through. And that just kind of shows that it's a darker area. There we go. That's cute. And then I might add a couple white lines above the eyes just to show where the light is hitting a little bit. All right. And then on the 
body, these are my spots. So I'm gonna leave those black. And then when I color in the neck and stuff, I'm not gonna color it in quite as dark as I did the face. Like I'm gonna use a much lighter pressure on my white because it's kind of in the shadow a, a little bit and it's not gonna be as bright as my face is gonna be. So I'm creating a different value of white here just by not pushing as hard on my pencil. All right, we are almost finished with this lovely cow. Just kind of finish coloring in this little bit here. All right, so now I might leave just a little bit of black underneath the lip there just to have a little bit more shadow on the body there. And then I might take my real light and just color that bottom lip in just a tiny bit, with just barely any. And then re-add some heavier white on my nose so it really stands out. Just those light areas, so around the nostrils, along the top of the those lines there where the bone is and probably up here. All right. There you go. Let me add a little bit more here. We are about finished. All right. I wish I could see your cows. I bet they look awesome. Add a little bit more here, just on top. And I'm gonna leave those a little darker there because they're underneath that bone on the nose. All right, maybe just a bit more here. Maybe just a bit more right on the edge here where the light was shining. There, so you can really see the values there now where the, the lighter areas and the darker areas, it looks wonderful. I might even just add a little bit into the eye just to give it a little more depth. And there we go. We are finished with our cow. So awesome. Thank you for joining me for this negative space cow. I hope you had a fun time drawing the cow and try it both ways. Try it with filling in the white and then try it on white paper and coloring in the black area. So uh, feel free to send me a picture. I'd love to see your work. All right. Thank you for joining me today. Bye-bye.